Hey guys, it's Dawn, and today I'm back with part two of coloring this image. This is from our Miss You Lot stamp set, and again, I featured this when we released the stamp set on my blog, and a lot of you wanted to know how I colored it. So today we're going to finish coloring this image. We're going to be doing the clothes and the background. Now, if you missed part one where we went over the hair and the skin, I'll have the link at the end of this video, and you can check that out. But today we're going to get started with the clothing, and then we're going to move into the background. So let's get right to it. And like the last video, this is not going to be a tutorial. I am going to throw this into fast motion and put some music on for you guys, but I did want to give a quick shout out to a new challenge. Kathy Rakusen at thedailymarker.com is doing a 30 day coloring challenge. And basically she's just encouraging us to color something every day, whether it's five minutes or an hour, whatever your schedule allows for, it's just to get out those supplies and color. You can use any medium that you want anything goes and she's going to be participating as well and posting um, either videos or pictures of what she's doing on Instagram and her blog and she's encouraging everybody to play along with her she'll have prizes as well at the end of the 30 days and if you do decide to play along make sure you post your stuff to either Twitter or Instagram and tag it with hashtag the daily marker 30 day and I'm going to hook you up with all the information in the description box below, so check there for the links to that challenge, as well as links to all the supplies that I used in coloring this image. So I will zip my lips now and cue the music.
And that pretty much finishes it up with the exception of some last minute details. For that I'm going to be using a white gel pen. This is a Sakura Jelly Roll pen. And then I'm going to come in and add some hand doodling using a Copic Multi Liner. These partial backgrounds are a great way to kind of uh, acquaint yourself with adding more color to the background and kind of embellishing an image and really putting your own spin on it. Since you're not covering the whole paper, it doesn't take as much ink and it's not quite as intimidating. And feathering out those edges using the blender pen keeps it intentional. And here is a quick recap of all the colors that I used for everything including her hair and skin. And again, I will list all these in the description box below. And don't forget to also check that description box for a link to Kathy Rakusen's blog and her daily marker 30 day challenge. I really encourage all of you guys to play along. It's going to be a lot of fun and I am going to try to play every day. And here are a couple of other Copic videos here in the upper left hand corner. You can watch me do her hair and her skin. That was part one in case you missed it. And in the upper right hand corner there is another one of this cute image by Saturated Canary. I also have this one in a more detailed tutorial on how I achieve photorealistic hair. Don't forget you can find the featured stamp sets at wplus9.com and you can connect with us on our blog at stampawaywithme.blogspot.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!